Hello everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new LEGO Ideas Typewriter. This is LEGO set 21327 with 2,079 pieces. Being an idea set, this was actually submitted on the LEGO Ideas website by a LEGO fan who had the original design. His name is Steve Guinness, also known as The Brick Consultant on social media. And you know what? I have a special audio snippet from Steve Guinness, and we're going to be listening to it in this review as well. The back of the box does a great job of showing how elegant this set is. It just looks simply incredible. They truly nailed the box design. You can see the keys on the top of the box here, along with that typewriter font. Hi, my name is Steve Guinness, also known as The Brick Consultant. I'm the fan designer for the LEGO Ideas typewriter set. Over a journey of four years, I made a series of prototypes, gathered supporters, got selected, and then worked with the design team at LEGO to develop the final product you see here today. I'm so pleased with the aesthetics of the model, as at first glance, it really looks like a genuine typewriter. I'm also very pleased with the functionality the build is complex and shows how Lego Technic and System Bricks can be combined. My hope is that the set may inspire some new people to build with Lego. It's very much not just a kid's toy, but an amazing system that can be used to make just about anything you like. The whole process has been really exciting for me. And to walk into a Lego store and see a set that I have designed on the shelves is truly a dream come true. Big shout out to Steve Guinness for providing us with that amazing audio snippet. It sounds like it was quite the journey from original concept to actually making this into a Lego set. I couldn't imagine walking into a Lego store and seeing a set that was your idea on the shelf. Congratulations, man, that's absolutely amazing. This set is fantastic. There's a great combination of Technic and also system and or brick building, which I thoroughly enjoyed and it was actually quite the challenge to create. I want to show you guys some of the moving functions that this amazing set has. Of course when you press any of these keys which are all print pieces by the way, huge added bonus, the center type bar is going to move which is amazing. So all the keys other than the backspace, the shift key, the space bar, the other shift key on the other side and also the shift lock are not connected to that center type bar. The center type bar is also connected to the carriage on the back side, which makes a magnificent sound when you bring it over to the other side there. There's actually like a little turbine in the inside that actually spins and it sort of creates that sound as you bring it over. And then as you press each key, the type bar will strike and also the carriage will move over which is absolutely fantastic. And I find the keys actually have the perfect amount of resistance and they sort of pop back into position after being pressed, which is really hard to do with Lego, as you can imagine. Now the space bar isn't connected, but it does have some rubber elements underneath that actually gives it some resistance as well. Now the keys, the central type bar, and also the carriage are not the only moving functions here in this awesome LEGO Ideas set. We also have the Platen Roller, which is right here. You can actually turn the Platen Roller by turning this barrel on the side, and that will rotate these tires here. And you can actually feed paper into the typewriter, which is pretty cool. In fact, the typewriter also comes with this booklet right here that has a written letter by the current chairman of LEGO, also signed by him on the bottom, and that's available in 43 different languages, all in this booklet here. And this is essentially like a tear sheet. Looks exactly like an instruction manual. In fact, I thought it was an instruction manual to begin with. And right here, you can see there's a little index showing you which languages are available in this booklet. So that's definitely a nice added feature. And the paper can be fed in just like a standard typewriter through the back here. And then you turn the platen roller and it should feed it in. It is a little bit finicky, but once it grabs a hold of it, it comes in pretty good there. And you can display it just like so with the paper inside or without the paper. Really, the choice is up to you. Oh, and of course that paper is supposed to be fed underneath the bar just like that there. And there's not actual real ink and it doesn't actually strike the paper and leave letters on the paper. However, 
this ribbon right here does indicate the two different ink colors that you have, so black and also red. And then this little switch on the side here, I'd imagine this is for switching the ink color in which you would be striking the paper. So that's definitely a nice feature that they added there, how you can feed the paper into the typewriter. You have your ink and also can switch the color of your ink with that little Technic switch on the side there. I think the color that they selected was just perfect. I love sand green. We also have a system sticker right here on the front of the typewriter. And there's one hidden Easter egg on the back here that was created using another sticker element. It says system in play on the back here. And it says SG slash N-G-U-O-Y-D. Now, what does that mean? SG stands for Steve Guinness, and then never give up on your dreams, a little hidden Easter egg from Steve Guinness. Let's have a look at the movement of the carriage on the backside here. All sorts of gears in the inside, and you'll see those gears move as we press the keys and the carriage slides over. Also, all of these type bars here have the nice metallic color. And that same metallic color is found on the side of the typewriter here as well, on the side of the carriage. And then as we slide the carriage back over, you can see the gears in the inside just moving in there. There's also two hydraulic things over here that allow the carriage to move, sort of apply the pressure and allow it to slide over as you punch those keys. Really solid model. It's got some plates on the underside. And as you can see there, the shell was mainly built using all sorts of different sand green bricks. It offers such a great combination of both Lego System and Lego Technic, although there is more Technic in here than I originally anticipated, but obviously we would not be able to get the realism in which is depicted in this awesome set without that. Pretty sweet. So here we have our instruction manual for the typewriter. Creative writing and classic design. This is a really neat photo here. This is the original founder of Lego. He's got the typewriter in the background there. Hey, and there's Steve Guinness. Meet the man behind the keys. Shows a bunch of different typewriter models there actually. And then these are the two designers from Lego that help Steve Guinness sort of create the product and get it to the shelves where we have it today. How to use your bricks operator. You can see bags one through four created the keys, five through eight created the carriage in the back there, and then nine through 11 sort of just finished it off there. Quite a bit of repetition in the first bag. You had to build nine of these, essentially all of the keys had a lot of different repetition. You had to build nine of these as well. You build all these little Technic components, throw them in a file like the instruction manual says, and then assemble your keyboard after that. So everybody, there we have the Lego Ideas typewriter. Thank you so much, Steve Guinness, for providing us an awesome audio snippet. And congratulations once again, man. This thing is absolutely amazing. We're gonna bring this thing upstairs now. Yeah, that's right, the wife's let me bring this one upstairs. That's how you know it's a very elegant Lego set. So this is where we've decided to place our typewriter, right beside our record player in our hallway leading toward our kitchen. Conveniently, the colors sort of match. And I think it looks pretty sweet up here. You can barely tell it's a Lego model. It's wild. Can't wait to confuse some guests that come over. Yes, that is Lego, indeed. Let me know what you think of this set by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here in the near future. Thanks for popping by. Have a great one.